for this training. I would like to invite Dr. T. Mohammed Ismail uh, for the session on introduction to browser and browsing. Sir was a part of our training yesterday also, and uh, you all are familiar with uh, him. So you can interact with him, you can unmute yourself, you can raise your hand. Please uh, make it as participatory as you can. So I welcome Ismail, sir, and I hand over the proceedings to uh, Ismail, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good morning, all of you. Thank you very much. Again, I'm very happy to meet you all on this uh, uh, Zoom call. Yeah, uh, uh, please, uh, participant, anyone uh, confirm whether I am audible. Uh, raise your hand or virtual hand. Virtual hand. Yeah, I can see thumbs up. Wow, fantastic. Yes. Yeah. No, oh, very good, very good. When comparing with yesterday, na, people are uh, really very active today. Why? What is the reason? Any special? Okay, then uh, we'll uh, move uh, ahead. See, uh, uh, now I What I think, na, usually we uh, people who are coming from one place to another place, play, try to explore what are the new places over there. And usually we try to visit. It is a common thing, na. So I want, I got this idea to visit Agra. Okay. And I want any one of you from this meeting to join with me and visit Agra. You please assume that. I'm not going to send you flight tickets. But still, Okay, now, yeah, please, who is KVS? Uh, Prakriti Sharma ji, uh, your raise, hand is raised. Quick query, hai kya? Oh, uh, to, okay, no problem. Haan, lekin, aap, uh, unmute, na, Ashok Bhav, uh, Basavan ji. Sir, uh, you, uh, you are on un unmute. You can unmute. Okay, no problem. You tell me. Please raise on anybody. I want some inputs. One of from you should please join with me to visit Agra. What we are supposed to do first? What we will do? When assume that you are also there in uh, uh, your place. Now you are visiting a place which is very new for you. Even before you never visited that place. This is very new place. To visit that tourist place or that new place, <clears throat> actually, what we will do? Uh, Pratibha, I do. Sir, sir, sir. Uh, we search what is the Chepandi, please. Uh, we search what is the famous places in that uh, city, and where we uh, uh, and where we Very reside good. those the uh, those the days. You can make use of chat also, yes. Correct. So we'll yes, search places. Okay. Visit famous places. What are the famous around there, that place? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I want more uh, responses even through chat. Yeah. Uh, P. Jairama, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, we will inquire about that place uh, for our uh, convenience. We will ask our friends. How do how to reach that uh, new place? Okay, so we will discuss with our friends, and we will get some information how to reach that place. Okay, yes, that sir. is one input. And Sar told we need to get plan something. Okay, anybody? Yeah, what are the restaurants? Uh, yeah, um, uh, Magalashmi uh, told what are the restaurants nearby? Okay, around that place. Okay. Any other? Yeah. So, anyhow, what I understood, we want before going, we enquire through Google. Okay. So, we'll that indicating everybody is telling me that before going to that new place, you need to get some information. 
you need to access information. Okay. So now I'm in Delhi. I, I need information of Agra and what are the restaurants around there? What are the other tourist places uh, uh, there in the Agra? So, okay. Now, assume that information is there. Okay. I need to get that information. Okay. Now I am comparing all this thing with browsing, browsers, and internet. Okay. See, I need information and information is there somewhere. In the same way, usually in our system also, we have our information. We have some files. We have some information. That is okay. In other systems also, other people's systems also, there are there is there is also information is there in their systems. I need to get that information. How can do I can do yesterday also? You might have done one uh, uh, assignment where taking a photograph and sharing that photograph to are putting copying that photograph to on your uh, system or transferring that uh, audio file to your system that you practice done how you have done whether you connected your mobile phone through wire or wireless devices like bluetooth or some other ways so you are connecting the systems it's a one to one system or two three system connected together but coming to World Wide Web, Internet, it's nothing but... <laughs> okay. So, here, lot of devices, like many devices, maybe computers, laptops, or servers, connected together through wires or by other means or with the help of satellites, whatever, and Assume that all the systems or many systems are connected with a wire or wireless way. That is like just like we, we can see it as a web. It's a web-like appearance. Na? And data can transfer from one system to another system. What do you mean? What is the meaning of this? It is a web-like system. We are calling it as internet. We are calling it as internet. Now, See, information available in one server or a cloud or somewhere can be accessible by another person in the internet, through the internet, because they are connected. Now, I need information about Aga and the places nearby. What are the restaurants are surrounding us that information is there on other systems other people's system that information is available right i want to access that information for that as we, we i am telling every mall will also be there other restaurants are so there there are different places in Nagra. They have their own address also. Whenever we get into the auto or taxi, first person he will ask is, where you are supposed to go? So these questions usually we will get. So we are supposed to tell them address. I am comparing this with the same. In the internet also, servers have where what we are calling it as address they have their own address we are calling it as website url that is the address of that we need to reach to that address to access the information to get information so here in our, in our example case also you want to go to that place to reach there what you will use? You will use something like a vehicle, or it may be a three, four wheeler or two wheeler. You will use some vehicle through which you can reach there and take whatever you want. 
here in internet also so there are through the there is a website also you should reach to that place that website na to access the information you need a tool required for you to access in a window that is called browser okay now i told i have introduced you few words internet that is nothing but a web like thing or uh, the devices digital devices connected through wire or wirelessly with the help of satellite or whatever other way means so that is called a internet thing where so i uh, i have in, told you about, about the browser which help you to reach there okay and website these are the things we learned now how we can use all these things that uh, we are going to study which is now everybody we are using the websites no doubt still we don't need things regarding the websites let us today discuss about a topic related to browsers and how to browse those things I mean browsing I already told you na so internet is nothing but global network of interconnected computers and websites as are nothing but a information source thing which are there so inter a website means having different pages also sometimes so where the accessible in, uh, information is there through internet we can uh, we are accessing this and let us answer me this question so everybody knows now browser is a software tool through which we can access the information present to our other systems or other servers which are connected through internet that is okay now for what purposes we will use this internet already in our discussion itself we understood that to get some files in the form of files documents what not what are the other like i am talking about the purpose what are the requirements you have usually when you are going to use website for me see for social networking i am using websites or internet i am using i am talking about the internet na tell me about internet anybody will tell for what purpose you are using the uh, internet you can write in the chat please what is the purpose of your purpose of using internet when you will use internet anybody internet is nothing but na like for any purpose you, you can think when you use mobile phone other than the uh, talking to other person also you are using internet I mean uh, mobile phone when to communicate with other people okay any uh, charts uh, yeah, i am getting lot of charts okay access information from any anywhere in the india uh, world for searching information we required okay yeah information we use internet to get the information very quickly but for mailing purpose for communication yeah very good very good so there are so many different purposes that depends on the individual individual requirement is different but for different purposes we are using the single thing internet let us see what are the uh, pur uh, purposes usually we do see i have uh, grouped certain things into uh, like this we may we are using internet nowadays for education and research is it not you may be using diksha and there is a some other uh, generals are there scientific generals for to get some uh, inf uh, information related to your research studies or any audios videos which are helpful for your education or research that is one purpose and communication and connectivity as some already our 
content uh, clearly said for emailing for blogs writing and for chit chatting or like uh, social medias for chatting uh, so there are some online forms or forums also for communication connectivity you are using it and now uh, and also leisure and entertainment so mostly nowadays na uh, we are using this internet for entertainment purpose also like when you find some leisure time we'll go to internet we'll play games so we require two three members to play some game for example what we will do some other person from uh, sitting uh, uh, somewhere in the, on the globe and he can also connect he can also connect with two three can form a group in the game and we can play games so that is the one purpose serving by uh, uh, so because of our internet we can do that music listening to music e books all these are our purposes exploring the world we are doing the, through this and also for e commerce also financial transactions we are doing through that online banking may have be used in so many people uh, anybody uh, uh, you can chart ss yes, 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 so that i can understand people are using financial transaction through e commerce you are using google play phone pay so who are using it you can type in the chart myself 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 so that how many among you are using google pay phone pay paytm or many thing or online banking yes yes see many people yes 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 so many people are using for financial purpose without internet are you able to pay money through google pay or g pay or whatever other paying payment methods no so you need require these are the different purposes of internet okay what are the browsers see anybody uh, is there anybody who hasn't seen these browsers uh, then please uh, type in your chat what is the browser you hadn't seen previously heard about previously not used previously otherwise do one thing right what is the browser so far you used i will check the what uh, your chart yeah many body said chrome google chrome chrome okay firefox oh somebody fi used firefox also yeah chrome nice chrome firefox oh somebody used fire chrome pass internet explorer oh, opera oh somebody used opera also nice okay bing it's a search engine okay google firefox internet explorer uh, uh safari okay attendance through chrome sites attendance okay nice chrome firefox internet explorer. wow okay okay so so uh, yahoo is not a browser okay yeah you need to understand here yeah, through your chart why i understood why i understood something i need to tell you there is maybe some misconceptions browse browser will will call browser to the software which facilitate you to access the websites or other servers okay the web pages or the websites should not be considered as browsers chrome is a browser okay google search engine is there na that is a some page or a search engine or another tool okay the likewise in the yahoo also or something those are mena those are not browsers okay those are websites you need to understand yeah somebody told clearly i don't know about safari okay Yeah, I will tell you Microsoft Edge. Ah, nice, fantastic. I appreciate Tulsi Ji, Adha Ji. So, though here I have written Internet Explorer, he is talking about Microsoft Edge also. Yeah, let me tell. Here, these are some popular browsers. In our example, I told you, na, we need some vehicle to reach or go there to take the information or to uh, visit there. in such a way those tools are there in our taxi car somewhere something guys tools over there here browsers are these chrome firefox these are the uh, some well known popular browsers 
these are the only available browsers in the on the internet now there are so many other internet uh, browsers are there but we are taking some examples only mostly we might many people know known about a chrome it's a google product firefox also another product is usually using it opera safari is you need you need to understand one thing usually some certain browsers are famous for tabs and mobiles certain famous for desktops or laptops certain uh, uh, browsers are famous on both things usually opera like safari you know uh, usually opera it is famous on some android version mo mobiles are tabs also here safari is uh, usually you can see in this in the system which runs with ios or mac uh, platforms whereas internet explorer it is a microsoft co corporation product previously internet explorer nowadays microsoft edge is more evolved version of the internet explorer so these are the few known browsers so which are we are using to access the information on the world wide web or internet okay yes yeah what are the functions of these browsers so i have shown you some functions these are the only no above this also there are other functions let us see through the browsers we can access the information or resources available on the other systems or other servers okay as well browsers also help us to interact with the web pages or in the website like in the website there will be certain things aligned are kept there may be some images there may be some uh, forms there may be some uh, uh, some like some logos will also be there some need to something we need to uh, give our input somewhere there so how can you do that these browsers facilitate you not only it shows you the information it also allow you to interact with them and another functions of the browser is so it helps you to navigate different pages present in the website now you may be got one doubt what is the difference between the website and web pages is it not website is a whole thing which is made up of different web pages for example so you might have visited diksha website if you click diksha.gov.in you will go to home page of the diksha so home page i am talking about in the website i am talking one page one window where some information present now you want to see what are other things present in the diksha website now you clicked on the explore it will take you to the other page which is inbuilt in the diksha websites also now what is happening hyperlinked means the website having some content when you click on that interacted on that because it's providing that facility it is taking to another page that we are calling it as hyperlinked okay now in the you are now you are reached to another page there is uh, some other information images are there now you 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 can call it as another web page okay so in the same sense you need to understand okay i will show you in the next uh, also what is uh, i will we'll clearly will discuss about that also okay and also it browsers also help you to work on source code related thing how on which uh, software it is built like uh, uh, the technicalities of what is the how, what is the type of code written on that that is also helpful for the software developers to see that what are the source code through which uh, which platform the site is what build that information also with, helpful and co coming to another thing so this uh, browser provide you security like na 
this is very very important you you should know on uh, this information you are what is happening in the process you want some information you are taking help of the browser now you reach it to some other server or you are connected to some other system what will happen nowadays some website na some malicious websites or some fake websites something where when you connected with them they while well, you, you you are believing that you got access to their content you are accessing and you are downloading copying some information but uh, underlying or hidden way they may be stole uh, stolen your data they may be stealing your data they may they may be the thefting so that is also may possible so browser usually which are trusted and known developed with security policies those prevent such things they will give you security so they limit those people not to take any information from you without your consent that that way those will help so browsers also functions helps to pro uh, provides you security from the data stolen also okay coming to different uh, uh, browsers how can you use browser how can you launch browsers on your system there are usually two different ways in general we follow to open browsers on our system okay one is you can find the uh, shortcuts present on your desktop usually when you see your desktop i have shown you the logos or uh, icons of the browsers na chrome firefox or safari something like you can see directly present on your desktop if you are using some uh, windows desktop you directly you can click on the browser you can double click on that uh, icon that browser automatically it will open so on the desktop icons will be there or sometimes that browsers that is that is a software na install in your system but there may not be shortcuts present on your desktop so it's a previous setting at the time what you are supposed to do you need to click search button in the start button you know, if you say in the uh, windows or in the uh, in the uh, in ubuntu also you can see search your computer option you need to click where will be seen a search box there you need to type the name of the browser what you are looking for then it will show as a result here in the 6.2.4 now see when we search it for firefox it is showing you firefox log uh, i can then you can click on that you can open it so these are the generally you can so you can also when you you can uh, later time also you can later when you are good at all these things now you can uh, you can uh, ping pin pin your Chrome uh, browsers to your uh, tray also start tray or something some such customized thing also you can do later also for your uh, convenience okay then so now you launched your browser you know how to open your browser now we learn certain things about the browsers one by one mozilla firefox already i have seen in the chart some people already use mozilla firefox so it is a linux uh, system like uh, linux it will be you can use it and windows you can use it also so all in the uh, mac versions also it will be helpful so, so here you are seeing seeing the browser mozilla firefox already we discussed about chrome which is a google product google chrome so the interface looks like this okay so if you internet explorer it will be the interface will be like this and i already told you it is developed by microsoft corporation okay it is a default browser is for microsoft windows yeah what are the components present in the browser after this class also you need to explore the maybe the diff, browser is different maybe somebody may be using chrome or some maybe you are using a firefox what may be these different options will be there but location may be the different you need to explore 
the same option or tab will be available with a little similar or synonym or with other name but the purpose will serve the same now here i am showing you some components of the browsers menu bar one is the thing usually in the menu bar so it's a uh, like uh, uh, usually there on the top toolbar it allows user to select customized series of options for example user can save the current web page like file will be there open such in uh, uh, open a new window or something like other possible functions you can find in the menu bar another thing is in the browser buttons like here in the uh, on your screen you can see arrow marks like back forward buttons when you have opened some website and again you visited to some other web pages now you want to move one step backward then no need to again type the website or from the beginning you not need not to do you need not to go home again come back to there so rather you can use back button so you came back okay now again you want to move friend forward then how so you can use this forward button okay you can simply note down and you can later you please practice all these things the, the, these options save your time also here refresh button you see a arrow round thing na a symbol it's a refresh button we call sometimes what will happen while you are browsing in the middle of uh, loading also sometimes the website may struck so you are still waiting but page is not loading or it is struck or something whatever load, loaded that is there only again you need to reload when you now refresh then you click just on the button it will take you the website and also you, you should know one thing also sometimes while you are booking some tickets or you are making some payments on the no, on the desktop they will write don't refresh close or don't close the page what is the meaning don't close that web page or don't refresh this page means at that time sometimes that process takes some seconds or some minutes some, some time it consumes to complete your the task of payment at whatever at that time what people what we think that page is struck so immediately we'll click on the refresh button what will happen duplicate payments happen the otherwise it affect the process of payment it uh, the, so it cause some disturbances so that time you should not click on that here we can see the symbol like home usually in the websites now our browsers yes, uh, whenever you go in the browsers there is a symbol like home so means the at the beginning you will reach at the first page whatever on the browser you is there up to that you can reach here i have and the third one is address bar the first image you can see here https slash slash so it is a address bar i told you now in the in our example so there is information available at different places so the website is there every place has its own address we need to tell the browser where to go we need to tell the taxi driver where to go in the same way we need to tell the browser to which place we want to visit which server we want to visit, which website we want to visit now that where how can we tell in the uh, address bar we need to type uh, we need to enter over there so then what what is the address format we are calling it as in the for taxi people we are calling address kahan jana hai to address we are telling we now here we are calling it as website address in more clearly url of a website url of a website okay we'll later we'll discuss what is url also then another thing is tabbed bar so in the tabbed bar here in the third image you can see different tags what is the use of different tabs in your browser one browser at a time allows you to browse different websites different web pages also 
how can you use that in a tab you can write that website address you can see the website if you want another website you need not to open another browser or same browser new window need not to be opened simply as button you can see there you can click another tab you will get in that you can browse another website also so whenever you want to switch to the previous bed you need to click on the tab only so project timeline you now you click on that so now another tab when you click on that on that page you can see what are the things that is called tab or search box see in the in the browser if you click uh, control f now usually so it gives you a it gives some input box where you can type some keywords or that's what a word which to, to which you are you want to search about that in the huge document or huge web page where exactly that are is available or not then you can click on search and bookmark tools this is also in, uh, i'm going to uh, show you demonstration or I'll, I'll, uh, clearly going to explain you not to worry about that so that help bookmark tools help you to save the web addresses previously what we'll do we'll write our addresses in the address book i can remember one thing i want to share you and if anybody uh, remember the same thing tell me also uh, even 15 20 years back or 20 30, 25 years back na when uh, what we, we are supposed to do we will write the addresses we, usually at the time usually letters are na in england letters postcards are there so we note down our addresses in the diary which is a labeled as a b c d all the pen people's name who come with b starts with b in that page we are supposed to write the b otherwise what we will do we will write uh, so uh, office addresses we will write in one page is it not we will save addresses on writing on the page uh, notebooks or something anybody done the same thing anybody you just go back to your childhood or something yes yes you can write in the chat s s at least five ss i want one yeah thank you uh, aruna jyoti madam oh jayaram ayya bajusha our parents used to write <laughs> okay so you are very junior sir very young it seems <laughs> yeah another one another yes another yes one yes please only one yeah thank you thank you thank you prakash nuji see now how can we do that same thing because we can't remember see if it is just the name now you can remember how you might have seen the website urls how it will be http://www.so/ Uh, and the different numbers size signals symbols and slash dot slash this much very lengthy how can you write on the page how can you remember all those things you need to save somewhere how can we do that i am going to show you and open menus different menus will also be there so there we can access it let us go to next uh ha uh -huh. now we uh, already i told you and uh, informed you and i am showing the same thing what is the difference in this which is website web page web addresses okay website you know website is a collection of web pages which are grouped together and which are interconnected together right okay so that may be a free or paid one here ncrt website we can see web page is what is the web page a web page is a document which can be displayed in a web browser whatever so a part of website okay here we need to know one thing web pages are usually we can classify into two types static or dynamic static means what so you, you reach it to some website na so uh, assume that this is a website what you are seeing on your uh, screen now assume that there is a website 
So everything is same. If I come back to this page again, I will see the same. Some web pages are very dynamic. When you visit again, the view may be changed. The color might be changed. The images, whatever present over there, may be changed. Previous that Those are very dynamic website, uh, web pages we can call it as. What is web address? We need to know about these things. In future also, uh, for your assignment purposes also, this is very, very useful thing. I request all the participants to uh, to uh, clearly understand this thing. If anybody got any doubt, please raise hand. So, uh, Madam will help me to find out because I hide all those things. I'm looking at the, I want to show you the content. So, okay, web address. What is the web address? It's an address as, a, as I told you. We, we can call it as a URL of a server or a website place where the information is located. Okay. Okay, the, this we are calling it Uniform Resource Locator. Uniform Resource Locator. So, the computer locates the web page that you are trying to find only by using this URL only. If you see the URL, there are four parts usually we will see. And this is not mandated to have all these parts, but few are very important things. Protocol server or domain, path, file name. These are the four, usually these four parts you can find in any URL. Here an example also I have given below. See, NCRT website, http ivan slash slash www.ncrt.nic.in slash department slash nie html NIC HTML. This is the URL. Okay. Now, what is HTTP path? We are calling it as protocol. The latter is the server name or domain name. www.ncrt.nic.in. Okay. It is a domain name or server name. The latter in that server or domain, there are others different things also, pages, something, folders are if you call. There, information is available. No? Now, here in the NIS department is there, no? which is a path. So, in the website, next, where that NIE is our destination. NIE.html is our destination. We want that file to access, that information to access. To reach their departments is the path. And NIE.html is the file name of the page. That is the web page we targeted. So these are the four things. Okay. You need to understand this. Now, see, uh, we for we for suppose if we opened any website with the help of uh, browser, you can see hmm, as this as a, it, it is shown on the distance. Now there are certain important things I want to mention here. See, uh, which is very very important for assignment. Now, list of the common extensions of the website I am showing you here. These are helpful. This gives you knowledge by looking at the even the URL, website address URL, you can understand certain things. Not need, no, need, not, no need to open the, uh, browse the server or open the site also. You can easily guess what may be the website related to for what purposes this will be helpful. Dot edu, edu, educational organization related one if it is websites if you see dot ac academic institution dot com commercial entities or companies or if it is a organization dot org if it is a government related one government agency dot gov 
it is a network related dot net so military institution dot mil so international organization dot int in such a way if you observe the extension of the website you can understand certain things okay here are the country codes that used to extension in the domain as below usually these are the extensions in the domain through which you can understand what is the, the company uh, sorry country this website belongs to dot in so ncrt that gov dot in in means indian okay so gov already we learned government organization dot af afghanistan dot au australia dot bd bangladesh dot lk lanka dot my asia uh, asia malaysia dot pk asian pakistan so in the same way brazil china denmark kenya see romania these are the different countries through country codes which in, usually we can see as an extension in the domain you need to understand this by looking at the uh, url so that also tells us you usually what type of this are uh, your uh, website and maybe from which country it belongs to then types of its websites we need to understand anyone tell what are the types of websites already we in the beginning we discussed about uh, uh, purposes of the web uh, internet now at the time we discussed something why we use internet then basing on that what may be the types of website please put on the chart please put on the uh, right on the chart website yes educational website very good sir fantastic who is this jaya ramaya nice nice sports website right right fantastic perfect sir i think i will wait no problem types of websites if you know there is there may be types also e-commerce wow oh, patta binaidu person super sir Yujusha, commercial online purchasing oh uh, Priya Kumari, ma'am, you may be, it seems uh, you are sh always doing some shopping. Fine. Travel. Yadav, travel, leisure. Okay. Business websites. Perfect. Booking. Booking, traveling. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Amazon. It's for shopping. E commerce. Okay. Business and events. So good, so good. Yes. Appreciations to you all who responding. Appreciation to yatra.com. So it's a website. Okay. What is the type of website? So travel website. Okay. Blog websites. Personal. Okay. Okay. So uh, uh, different purposes we have and web, uh, different websites also we have. Okay. So we'll see what are the types of websites. Here, you can see website, information websites, right? You may be for newspaper, TV channel, web, dunia, map. These are weather. So some websites are there which gives us information. Some websites are helpful for communities. So teachers association website. For certain community people comes together, use that website resource repository websites, video downloading websites, public service websites, banking and e-commerce websites, collaborative websites, vendor websites, ma massively open online courses. So MOOCs, social networking websites, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, internet radio websites, email service providers, personal websites. So these are the different uh, websites. Okay. Then we'll go for List of websites to be explored. I, have, I am giving you some examples, but everyone should at least browse one website for the different types what I have mentioned, not the same one what I have taken as an example. I am repeating, everyone among you, please note down, I have shown you here some websites to be explored. And I have given some examples also. 
for each category or each uh, type i have given one example you need to search in the uh, through in the search through the search engine uh, you need to explore website one website at least which falls under this category but not the same for educational resources website i have given here e patashala dot nic dot in organizations nic dot ncrt dot nic dot in for media the hindu public service websites irctc subject based websites physical assets uh, physical as a room dot com you can go for biology you can go for other subjects also any other general website so these are the few websites i have given you the links here also mentioned so you need to explore other website okay that is very very important thing fine yes yeah what is hyperlink what is hyperlink hyperlink already i told you in the beginning while we are talking about so hyperlink are the programmatic commands which help you to jump to another page or another location of the web page uh, when something is hyperlinked in a page when you move over that page you can see the cursor will become something like hand shape i will show you some uh, example okay yeah i'm sure it stop sharing this yes i will share my entire screen okay now yeah i'm i'm here opening you can see your tick from web page okay i'm just opening in crt website here uh, you can see the left side the refresh button now when it is access, uh, accessing showing into w what i have done i have closed and reload the page i have done is it now so the page is loading see this is uh, fully it need to load here what i have did skip it is a text only skip to main content skip to navigation screen recording access is it not on the web page there is a content but when i am moving my cursor on to that point the sim the shape of the cursor is changed to so indicating a finger and hand symbol that indicates that here a dynamic some program is written it's a hyperlinked text when you click on that it may take you to other page of other page or other place or in the same web page okay now you might have understood what is web page right okay so usually in hyperlink if you observe usually they will give in different color sometimes may not but mostly if any text or anything is hyperlinked they will give you in different colors okay that we need to understand this hyperlinks are maybe two types interlinked or external hyperlinked hyperlinks internal hyperlinks means when you click that link it will take you to other place of the page the same website and the other place of the page external hyperlink usually when you click on that takes to you to another it directs you to another website here one important learning point i would like to mention while you are browsing websites uh, maybe uh, 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 sh like uh, some shopping or e-commerce related website or something other website you don't know whether the website is the original one or maybe a correct one or something if you have any such uh, uh, such uh, thing is in your mind you will you should be very careful when you are clicking on the links usually some browsers ask you to it is 
directing you to some external website will you able do you want to really go there so you need to click yes if you want to really otherwise no so these are the hyperlinks of the page okay now coming to sitemap sitemap what is the sitemap uh we can tell you better way if you are in staying in your apartment okay that means if i see you from the outside or overview i can see a building only what are there inside how can i go okay i can able to see the first entrance of this apartment or a building if i go left who be there if you go right to one house then where is the kitchen where is the thing is available in the same way if you talk about some company also where which room is available which, if you go, if you are visiting some office so there is if you go one place then you can find two three options again if you go there again you may have two three things but the same way if you see the uh, website so there is a web page there is a, some tabs on that if you click on that it will you will go to another web page in that also there is another now i am asking you how can you tell me what and which you are click oh, so what is the way to reach something like what are the entire content present in the website what are the things out there then it is very difficult for us for that purpose usually site map will call in the site map usually you see in the uh, in this uh, isro website it is given in the bottom site map when you click on that it will show something like this so where you can see all the internal page details web page details organized in a way if you click on this again this will be there in that in in the same way you can see we'll we'll uh, browse this row okay i don't know exact okay i've written web is row website name yeah this is the website okay now in that website if you see the bottom usually there is a usually at the bottom they will give you the site map see here in the image that is different here it is a updated thing it seems site map here we can able to see and also what is the other information in the uh, website we can see so who is the owner of that site when it is updated in such see last updated on tuesday february 13 2024 at 226 this is the as per the indian standard time when it, this uh, website was updated yesterday only yesterday night it, it is updated that such information we, we need to check whether that website is a original website or a fake website or something like that so you can understand so the address usually here site map we are i want to tell you about that so if you click on the site map now it is showing you so in the home page what are the things in home about is there in the about profile so vision all certain things are there in activities what are the things under the activities are there what are the services okay so what are the services are there in the entire website information is given on the site 
so you can rather going one by one clicking on that too you can uh, on one by one you can see this here and you can clearly go to the there only so what are the uh, we'll see one thing like activities what are the launches having i don't know i want to see this what are the launches so directly when you see on the site and it is taken you to the that thing okay again if you want any specific thing polar satellite vehicles you can access further also it saves your time okay so likewise we can use this site maps are helpful okay thank you very much and uh, now the session is open for discussion Huh. Actually, the, uh, on your own, you can do uh, all these things. One by one, we uh, will show. And also, I will show you some bookmarking things also. Let us, uh, in the next session, it will come. Anyhow, uh, uh, saving the address, one thing. Na, uh, uh, how can I save our addresses? That I have not shown you. I will show you right now. Okay. This is very, very helpful. Please, uh, don't divert yourself. Focus on it. Yeah, let me see. Where we can get sitemap? Okay. Thanks for asking, sir. Sir, what is the difference between a browser and searching? Yeah, I will tell you, sir. I'm happy to answer your questions and I welcome questions. Yeah, because you are asking questions means you're really interested to learn first question where we can get the sitemap sitemap for here i'll show you see see i am somewhere uh, you can learn this one also here now i don't know where exactly in which uh web page of isro because i have gone to sitemap and i came over here now i want to go the first main home page so usually in the websites you can see Home will be one thing. When you click on that now, wherever you are, you will be, you will be redirected to. You will be taken to the main page of that website. In such a way, home page will be helpful. Now, answer to your question: Where will where we can find site map button? Usually, in a website, people will keep information something about uh, site map when it is updated other in legal thing contact us see here contact us faqs such things in general they will keep at the bottom of the web pages websites okay and the owner of the website and the technic uh, technical persons if any any company they will also mention Certain things you can see at the bottom usually and need not to common for our website. Usually, here is the site map button. I have clicked it and it is redirected me to the site map page. Okay. I clicked on it. Okay. That page is loaded. So, and yeah, now we are in sitemap. What are the entire uh, content present in the website? They are the different web pages what they have. Everything is given in a hyperlinked text. So when you click on that, you will be taken to particular that page of that website. Okay. And if you want to know about the uh, website, uh, usually you can usually it will be there in the about us usually it is not it is a common thing but need not all people may not follow the same pattern they have a designer follows different different things also so contact us you will usually you will get how to contact that website people or owner of that organization or something okay any other thing also you can find about when that institution or established, when that company is established, brief profile, certain things are, no? 
that you can find in the about also in the in, in nowadays you need to find this also now this page is in english usually in the other available uh, language if the website is there that will be shown like this hindi now i have i just clicked on it now this page is same page is in hindi now i click again and certain things also you can find the alignment is will be maybe maybe different but things will be common so those are the thing now i want to save this uh, isro sitemap address okay how can i do that how can i do that so bookmarking will call it as here you can see at the right there is a button bookmark this tab is it is it not you need to click on that now it is asking you bookmark added this page is saved to in a highlighted or in a different color other bookmarks what is this other bookmarks what is it is asking for us what is it is trying to communicate i am trying to save that address where i should save that address i i have i am visiting some thousands of hundreds of websites okay can i save all websites anywhere then again it is difficult for me to see which type of address where i have saved again that difficult i need to organize this bookmarks how can we do that okay when you click on the star bookmark now it is telling you that it is bookmark is added okay it is saved to others bookmark is it okay if you want to okay, confirm that done no i don't want i don't i want to save this as i created i clicked on the edit what is the name of this uh, bookmark supposed to be it is only showing site map now i can I, now i am saving i am uh, uh, saving it and i am working on it so i can understand so this is isro website site map but the name is only here showing as site map no i want to save it as i want to give it this proper name isro website map okay now where should i save that is a next question with this name that address will be saved okay where should i save here we need to, we need to save any organ by uh, special organizing way all bookmarks no see there are different folders webinar entertainment vidya dan online courses these are the other folders i have created for my re purpose requirement now this website is not suitable to save in any other these things so what i will do i will create another folder and i'll save in it i will save this website in it rather i if I am I am I am going to use this website very frequently. For suppose something some website our company website or our school website, then what you can do one thing. So don't confuse. I will repeat also. So what I am trying to do now, I have given the name of this website. Okay, where to save it? One, choose creating or choosing the existing choosing the existing folder or creating a new website so new folder so choose another folder i have done okay what are those here i can create new folder where it is created under other books box no so where i want new folder usually so i'm where exactly all bookmarks okay in that i can save otherwise i can save this use another folder yeah where you can do that 
so mobile book bar so where where we want we can create that we need to sell it okay here again and somebody is an, an annotation on it. so this row website so website created new folder called isro otherwise space research okay now i want to space research folder i want to save this if you are happy. yes okay see if you verify also booksmarks and list now you can able to see this saved uh, folders and all those things in your list since i have so many books here i have you can see the newly created space research folder when you click on that when you take your cursor over there it will show you the website sh saved under this i have saved only isro website map now in the next time whenever so i switch it uh, switch off this laptop i freshly rolled it now i want to visit that website how can you, i do that simply i i can click here also I can go to the space research and i can click here that site will be lo loaded so that is one way otherwise as i told you as i said here you click click you can go for go for bookmarks and list you can find that uh, folder and you can click on that okay in the same way you can save website address as per your need yeah now any doubts please let me know how can remove that yeah there also simply you can remove one important thing i need to add see i am you see the difference of the page you are in one page now what is there here in that below the address box i am now i am using i just opened a new tab what is what is written here see what is this called this is a address bar okay what is this this is a bookmark bar bookmarks bar i need not to go to any other like uh, open clicking here and searching under these are very very frequently visiting websites for me so what i am doing this i just log into deksha is always you use it just i click on the new tab and i am clicking on the login deksha just i directed to that page yeah likewise how can I, we do that why can we keep this important thing this website here in the bookmark bar simple so for example i am visiting some amazon uh, like some website okay fine okay this i want to save this website i am supposed to save okay now how can i share this page click on this edit this where to save we need to give name okay where to save here if you see bookmarks bar bookmarks bar so there you are supposed to select if you select that and then what happened the that will be on the bookmarks bar itself I have bookmark, keep many, many things on the bookmark bar so in the next list it is coming to me if you scroll you can see amazon here in that only you need not to go to another what we can say uh, folder you can see amazon here in this only yeah something so <laughs> For you people, this will be not very problematic because uh, 
you may not be having this many bookmarks. So whatever you are showing, everything is on bookmarks only, instead bookmark bars only. Yeah, there it is. Okay, you can simply locate. Yeah, your attendance sheet is, Madam, shared your attendance sheet on, on your chart. Uh, yes, you see Amazon here. Yeah, participants, please note, attendance link has been shared for 10 minutes in the chat box. Please give your attendance as you are uh, you know, clarifying your doubts. Thank you. Okay, as I shown, so since we have saved it last, usually it is the organizer in the chronology. So it is came at the last. In the like phase, you can also bookmark your as per your need only. Wherever you want to keep, you can keep also. Now you want to delete that. Now you just book, bookmark this page. Is it not? Okay. Now you want to remove that. You can do that, remove. You can remove that also. Here also you can go and bookmark. You can remove anything if you want. Delete or something like that. So in the same way, you can organize your websites. Like, okay. So anything is, now session is open for question and answers. Yes. So assignment will be shared on the uh, group. Uh, so you please do. Uh, you will be uh, asked for uh, uh, to visit some uh, five website U urls will be given to you you need to visit that website you need to write uh, at least small paragraph about each website also so that ass assignment will be given to you in the chart okay five websites will be there you, you need to understand what are the uh, extensions given dot and I I n or dot gov or something gov is how. so basing on that you can understand that and you need to visit that website uh, participants your assignment also i am putting right now in the chat box and then at the end of the day we will share it in the whatsapp group also yes what is the difference between browser and a search engine okay very good question so browser it is a software tool that helps you to reach to websites Okay, browser, something like a okay, software. Example of the browsers I have seen, told you, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, all those things. Where you need to put web addresses of the website. And it will take you to that website, show you the content of that website in the window. Okay. You can access the content over there. Search engines are something like a websites. There are tools, searching tools. The service of the search engines are your requirement. You need something, some information. So you have used browser to reach the search engine. Search engine is not helping you. It is not a software like I mean, uh, to take you to different websites. It suggests you different websites, maybe. 
it gives you some information it serves you in the in the way what you are looking for but it is not taking you to somewhere to access the content so it is a one kind of website only but helping you for some specific purpose like content to be searched okay browser is helping for that to use search engines browser is required to use browser search engine is not helpful for you it won't support you it is not for that now you might have understood to use search engines you need browser through browser only browser uh, chrome or firefox whatever you need give search engine address like bing or uh, www.google.com uh, like image large google.com so you are giving address of google search engine now google search engine opened on your browser now you are you can ask some information you can search some information through this search engine that will search the content present in the other websites other web pages in the internet on the internet and give you the inputs hope you understood yes another good question uh, aman prit sings are asking whether yahoo is a search engine or a browser yahoo is a website or yahoo search engine is also there it is not a browser okay so through any uh, browsers like uh, i'll show you Namaste. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Namaste, sir. Okay. So, uh, now, I will share my screen and show you the difference. Okay. Now, on your screen, if you see Chrome I am using, Firefox is here. These are the browsers, okay? I am using it. Yeah. I just yahoo.com. It is a website address I have written here. Please be patient. Some internet is slow, it seems today. Yeah, so in the web address, I have written yahoo.com. Sometimes yahoo.co.in. See, here we reach to one web, Yahoo website. Okay. Here, Yahoo is also giving you, providing you one search engine, asking you if you want to search the web, you can give your inputs here. That's what here it is. See, Yahoo search engine. So here you can search as Google is one search engine, Yahoo. Now I want uh, Rash Mahal. It is showing me the responses. This is where we are. We are on Yahoo website only. It is searched entire web pages and giving us the information what i am looking for is it not so yahoo is a website or search engine okay thank you any other questions please yeah two minutes more for the attendance to close i hope everybody could open the link and mark their attendance not clear sorry it may be because of my slow internet connection or maybe at your end also if in you know, if others are able to listen carefully and you are only not able to listen then it is problem from your side yeah anything please 
yeah i will tell you another short period na still i will tell you one important thing okay which is very very helpful for you though i am telling you at the end may not be in the syllabus but i will tell you because most of the uh, for most of our participants it will be helpful i am sharing the screen okay see here i just opened chrome na huh? okay you can find here at the last three dots there are different options you need to understand here history is there okay history but these are the history of what are the things you have browsed on that it is saved here so while if you are using others also you should you, you should be very careful that you should not uh, uh, leave this data because sometimes it will ask to save your passwords also so you what you need to do you need to clear cake also i will show you how to do all these things first you whenever you open you just go through and learn yourself also what are the things you can helpful among this one is the new incognito window in the new incognito window means what is this incognito window it is a safer way of browsing content if you use something from your uh, website you can use all these things whatever you are using through the normal way in incognito or private way private uh, browsing we can call it as a, in the case of uh, firefox you, you can use it so whatever you are using and uh, working with this now whenever you close that data will not be stored on this system after immediately once it is closed so that will be gone away so so that is one way it is a secured way of uh, like in also helpful for the other uh, systems to which you are going to access na server that will also get uh, able to identify limited way only your all data will not be shown to them from where you are accessing who are accessing what is your system details certain many things will not be shown to them but don't think that you are using uh, incognito way and whatever you are doing no people will identify that is not the case mostly many things will be very private but still government or organization can able to see uh, that if anything is uh, misused through ignorant incognito mode they can able to find so that is one thing we need to understand and coming to here also you can go to settings also where privacy security things are there this is one should know clear browsing data is one of the important thing clear history cookie cache memory and all those things you need to click you need to clear data if you have used some other laptop or other uh, public uh, desktop somewhere in the internet center after you used it do one thing whatever you, these things are there no you just click on that you clear it okay and in advanced also you can select few more also passwords and other sign in data auto fill data if anything you want you can select and you can you need to clear this is one security step and don't forget when you when your work is completed clear all these things and remove the uh, clear the browsing data and sign out from all the pages what you were signed in thank you okay so i hope uh, dear participants you were able to learn a lot of things in this session also and i would like to thank ismail sir again for uh, clearing all your doubts and for giving such extensive information about uh, what are uh, web browsers and how to browse through the various websites to get right information so with that uh, we will close this session and we will meet again at 150 it's uh, almost 1 pm now we can still have the floor open for any doubts 
if all of you have filled in your uh, attendance, you may leave this session if you do not have any doubts. If you have any doubts, you are free to please stay back and clarify any doubts from the resource person or from the CIT team. Thank you and see you all at 1.50. Uh, tech team, can we please stop live?